the next 12 minutes, I'm gonna show you how to turn this $3 disposable watch into this, a one of a kind luxury timepiece in just three days. Okay, so I ordered some stuff yesterday. Now it's Tuesday today and I have till Friday to build this. Let's just see what I got. Okay, we got some watches and we have some more watches. So I bought three different watch styles because I wanted to take apart each one. I didn't know when they were gonna arrive and I wanted to see which one would be best for my project that I'm planning to do. I want something that's sleek, slim, and nice. So I'm gonna try on all the watches. This is watch number one. I would not be seen in public with this. This is kind of one of those guys that go to the gym and muscles and they're all CrossFit, brother. Now this is the second watch. This is the Casio knockoff. Slim profile, but it's I feel it's too small. This is for like the hipster. This is almost like a, like a, I don't know. This is not it. Now here's the third one. This one is basically an in-between. It's it's a little chunky, it's a little fat, but it's not that bad. It's like gym person, maybe a runner that's completely broke. And this is like a giveaway thing. Okay, first let's talk about the features of some of these watches. This one has a light, and so it just lights up a quarter of the screen, perfect. This one is a knockoff Casio F91W, beautiful weighs about nothing. Okay, moving on to the next watch. This one is a multi-function watch. The screen is, oh, okay. So this screen is actually kind of nice. This display, when you light it up, it actually is like quality. Wow, you can't see anything while it's off. But man, when you turn this thing on, this thing really, this was like $1.50, not bad. Now the next one is a sport water resistant branding Negator. Um, it's plastic. I mean, I feel like I could just, you could just feel like r ripping this. All right, the light is blue on this one and it is in the corner. It really doesn't light up the screen. It actually makes it worse. Let's take them apart and see what's inside and how small the combination things are for it. Okay, there's four screws on this one. So what do we got in this? We have back cover. So it looks like there's a back. So this is all, so this is the entire watch. So that's slim, that's a nice profile that we can actually use. But we can make something with this, this is nice. It's got a very slim profile, beautiful. Number two is this one, blue. Let's see what's all in this. Oh, interesting, this one is a little different. Build quality here, it seems a little bit better. Okay, now it's fully out. And I think I just broke it. We're just gonna assume that's gonna be a one that's not gonna be working. Okay, moving on to this one. This is the best screen one right here. Now this one is called Upper Multi-Function Watch. Oh God, it's another one of these. Now let's try the pry tool and see if we can get this up. There we go. Hmm, that's actually a nice screen. This one comes in a pretty thin profile. So now we have three different watches. First, we have the Casio knockoff watch. This one is the smallest one. We have this one, which comes in many different pieces. I don't know how to put that back together. And then we have this one as our base. So now I'm bringing this out here. This is actually much better in the daylight. And this one is obviously a classic. You're gonna see it all the time. I think this is the choice I'm gonna go with. I always start my design process in my head and then transferring it to a bad drawing, picking up some parts I have laying around, measuring inaccurately, and then finishing it off in CAD. Well, something like that. So I'm printing it out to get a visualization. of. I just want to see how it looks on my wrist. So this is kind of how the shape is so far. We'll see how this looks. Well, this is the top. This is what it's going to screw into. Let's put this in here and see how it is. That fits nice. Of course it can use some work, but I think we're on to something here. So here's prototype number two. I used the straps from the Casio. These aren't gonna be official straps, but this is just to get a good idea of how the watch is gonna be. Three, four hundred dollars, three thousand dollars, and uh, right now it's th three dollars. All right, it's one o'clock. That's what I got so far. Now I just wanna print it in like the best material possible because it looks so sick. I just wanna make it now perfect. <laughs> Uh, I just kind of spent the majority of the day being a perfectionist and getting every perfect angle right. So what I did was started adding buttons. So these are locking mechanisms for the buttons. So there's gonna be a pin that goes through each one of these and they're gonna swivel to touch the inside. It's very simple and hopefully it's effective because I don't really know. I mean, just look at that. I mean, come on, three days? AP Patek, you've been doing the same thing for 30 years. Come on, come on, watch industry. Come at me. It's day three, so uh, I have it printing in this color because my other colors just won't work for what this is for.
so hot right now. Cancel. Hello! So this is the end of day three, and this is the watch that I created. Everything works as it should. It's got a Velcro back with a leather strap. It's 3D printed, it's super thin and slim, and it works exactly like it should with all buttons, everything customized, designed, everything in three days. Now, there's one thing I forgot to mention, and this is gonna take a lot longer than three days because I am getting this watch CNC made with custom straps and custom everything else. So. This is going to turn into a real life watch. To make sure this was right, I designed my own custom straps, fine tuned some dimensions, and made sure everything was spot on before sending it to get CNC. Okay, so I just got a special delivery. This is actually from PCB Way. So this is my first impression looking at this product. So this is the previous watch. It's made out of 3D print, but this is the one that's made out of 316 stainless steel. So let's open this and check out PCB Way. Now this is only half the build. The other half should be in soon, but this is for the main part here and the top. So let's just see how this looks. Customs had to open this up just to actually see what it was. So this is the top made out of metal. Wow, oh my God, they nailed. Oh my God, look at, I put this on the finest settings on my 3D printer. Now look at this, no way, I did not expect that. Nice, it's got some beautiful weight to it. Let's try this one. I got this coated in PVD. It's actually just like this watch right here. It's coated in this black. Now this is a very durable black color. This one won't scratch. It's covered in this PVD color, which a lot of luxury watches are. Let's try this one. Let's use this rusty knife here. I'm opening some drugs or something. So we have the bottom here. Oh my gosh. Wow. That looks actually so nice. I am actually blown away. I was not expecting this quality. This is like when you actually buy something from a factory. Okay, let's put the sapphire in here and let's actually see how it looked. This is the sapphire glass. Should have fit in here. Look at that fitment, beautiful. So we got the final box from PCB Way. This is gonna be the watch straps and a couple other pieces in it. I don't know how the watch straps are gonna turn out to be honest. So we're gonna find out. We're gonna see if I chose the right material. I chose two different colors for the watch strap just because, you know, if I didn't like one color. Oh, look at this. Three parts, one, two, and three. This is going to be the face inserts. One is carbon fiber, the other is brushed stainless steel, I believe. So this one looks like to be the carbon fiber. Ooh, and that is nice. Look at that. Would you look at that? Look at that, look at that. Ooh. Now let's see the stainless steel. I got this one as like a, a test. I didn't really know what to get for this one. Now this one is brushed. Whoa. This is the brushed stainless steel. Let's dig into the straps. Now there should be two colors in here. Oh, there's one color and there's two colors. So there should be four pieces. This is my first opening of this, so this is exciting. Oh, wow. I have my branding right here just to put it on here, but this is the black strap. There is literally no layer lines in this. I'm gonna be interested to see how this looks in the watch. Now let's open the white. Now the white I'm excited for. Okay, so this is the white. It's gonna go onto this bracelet. Now, ideally, this is the clasp I got. This is stainless steel. And so we're gonna hook this up to this to see how well this looks. Let's start working on the watch and taking it apart.
And here it is in white. But first, I wanna give a special thanks to PCBWay for making it possible to turn an idea into a piece of art. And if you don't like it in white, you can have them make it in black. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and tell me in the comments, if made affordable, would you wanna buy this watch? If you already haven't subscribed, please do because I have some awesome videos coming up and I've already done some cool videos. So until next time, thank you for watching. Until the next video.